Hello friends, this video on Equilibrium Part 36 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. We have to calculate a degree of ionization of 0 0.05 m acetic acid if the Kp value is given. And how is the degree of ionization and dissolution affected when the solution also contains 0 0.01 m HCl? See, calculating the degree of dissociation is very simple. See, pK is given, that is 4.74. With that, you can find K, that is minus 10 and log of this. You create 1.8 to 10 to the power minus 5, right? And with this, you know that degree of dissociation is nothing but alpha is other than root K by C. K is we have got 1.8 to 10 to the power minus 5. And C is we have C, 0.05. You solve this, you get alpha as 1.9 10 to the power minus 2. So this is easy, right? Degree of ionization. Now the question is, how is the degree of dissociation impacted when we have HCl? So I have HCl. If you see, it will completely dissociate into H plus and Cl minus ion. Correct. So the reaction I had was acetic acid reaction, CS3. COOH gives CH3 CO minus plus H plus. So let's assume this already had T is equal to 0 at 0 0.01 MHCl. Right? This was 0 and CH3 COOH also we had 0 0.05 M acetic acid. Let's assume at T is equal to equilibrium. So this assume that this moves in the forward direction. Let's assume, right? So in that case, this becomes x, this becomes x, and this becomes x plus 0 0.01. Correct. So if you see the concentration of CH3COH, and it will move very less actually. It will move very less. And since we need to find the degree of dissociation, so let's not take x here. Let's take uh, into 1 minus alpha, right? Because alpha is the degree And this becomes uh, C alpha, that is 0 0.05 into alpha. And this becomes 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 alpha, correct? This of x, I'm taking C alpha now. So if you see, since the reaction will proceed very less in the forward direction, I can assume that concentration of CH3COH is almost equal to 0 0.05. So alpha is almost 0. And uh, CH3CO minus, I can't ignore here, so it has to be 0 0.05 alpha. And H plus, I can take it almost equal to 0 0.01 because this is a very small value. Right? So if I have, rule, if I have the formula now K, this will become. Concentration of H plus CH3CO minus by concentration of CH3COH. Right? So that is nothing but H plus is what? This guy 0 0.01 into CH3CO minus is what? 0 0.05 alpha by CH3COH is 0 0.05. It's cancelled and this is equal to what? Given we have got this, this guy. K, 1.82, 10 to the power minus 5. You solve this, you get alpha is nothing but 1.8, 1.82 into the power minus 5. Very small value. And then, okay. So what we had done, when we started at that time only we had some hydrogen ion concentration from HCl. That is the only thing here. This is a similar question what we had in the last one. So the ionization constant is given. We have to find the degree of ionization. So degree of ionization is nothing but root of Kb by C. Nothing but 5.4 10 to the power minus 4 by C is 0 0.02. You solve this, you get 0 0.16. This is my degree of ionization. The next question is what is the percentage of the methylene is ionized? The solution already has 0.1 mOH. 
So this is also very easy actually if you see I'll just do a little bit C S3 C2 NH plus H2O give C S3 2 NH2 NH2 plus plus OH minus right so at t is equal to 0 it says that it has 0.1 m NH so 0.1 m is there this is not there this is ignored and this is we have 0 0.02 m right so at t is equal to equilibrium so this will have let's suppose 0 0.02 minus x this will become x and this will become 0 0.1 plus x correct so my kv is what same thing uh, this guy 5.4 10 to the power minus 4 this is equal to what concentration of this is x concentration of this oh minus that is 0.1 plus x almost equal to 0.1 and this 0 0.02 minus x almost equal to 0 0.02 so you solve this you get x is equal to you will get something but I want alpha alpha is what cx I want alpha actually. So if you see, uh, C alpha is equal to x actually. So alpha is equal to C alpha is equal to x. So alpha is equal to x by C, right? Let me try to find x by C this quantity. So this becomes alpha. So I get from this alpha is if you want to find 5.4 uh, uh, into the power minus 4 divided by 0.1. That is 5.4 into 2 to the power minus 3. This is my new alpha. Right, so this is easy actually. If you want to find percentage disassociation, then this is what nothing but alpha into 100. So 5.4 10 to the power minus 3 into 100, so nothing but 0.54 percent. And that is A very similar question. So the question says the pH of uh, milk, black coffee, tomato juice, lemon juice, X are these is this. We have to find the corresponding hydrogen ion concentration in each one of this. Pretty simple. See, H plus is nothing but pH is nothing but minus log of H plus. So H plus will be what? H plus is nothing but if you take negative both sides. So minus p is nothing but log of this. So H plus is nothing but log of anti log of anti log of minus pH. So you find the anti log of minus 6.8, you will get value as 1.585 10 to the power This is done for milk. Similarly for black coffee. 5 so what this h plus i will be anti log of minus 5 that is nothing but 20 power minus 5 that but tomato juice h plus will be what anti log of minus 4.2 nothing but 6.31 10 power minus 5 similarly lemon juice H plus will be what? Anti log of minus 2.2. That is nothing but anti log of minus 2.2 is 6.3125 minus. And then I have uh, egg. So egg will be what? Anti log of minus 7.8. That is nothing but 1.585. This pure math where you define minus anti log of minus pH. Right, so H plus I is nothing but anti log of minus pH. That is mass. So the question says 0 0.561 gram of potassium hydroxide is dissolved in water to give 200 ml of solution as 298 Kelvin. We need to find a pota concentration of potassium hydrogen hydroxide ion. So everything we deal in moles per liter. Right, so let's find the molarity of QH that becomes 0 0.561 grams right and uh, 
per uh, and what is the molar mass 56 into per liter so i have 200 ml by 1000 this is my per liter so if you solve this this comes out to be 0 0.05 m so i have 0 0.05 m of koh gives k plus and oh minus since I am drawing single side because that means there is a very strong base, it will dissociate completely. So this is 0 0.05 m at t is equal to 0, t is equal to after some time this becomes 0, this becomes 0.05, this becomes 0.05, right. So my OH ion ion concentration is nothing but 0 0.05, correct. Similarly my H plus ion concentration will be what 10 to the power minus 14 by OH minus concentration. 10 to the power minus 14 by 0 0.05 that is nothing but 20 to the power minus 30. If you want to find the pH, nothing but minus log of H plus ion concentration. That is nothing but minus log of 20 into 10 to the power minus 30. You solve this, you get pH as 12.3. 12 That's the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.